Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be showing you guys what Phoenix Weave and what Runic Leather goes together to make. So this is going to be some pretty crazy RNG crafting. We're going to be up in the 585 to 600 gear score, some of the latest game armor in the game. Like I said, going up to a 200 armor smithing player in New World on my server. He's actually going to make me some pretty awesome gear. So we're going to obviously be going for some of the best crafting gear in the game and that's going to be refreshing pillar of fire because that's a hard perk to get with intelligence when it comes down to the open world so we're going to speed that up a bit i do have a refreshing pillar of fire pants already that is about 512 gear score but we're going to be shooting for a higher gear score this time like i said he has a minimum of 585 and he has a maximum of 600 when it comes down to crafting so we'll have to see what rng we get here like i said all i can do is give him the craft mod that is refreshing pillar of fire and from there we're going to see if what attribute we get each craft by the way cost me about seven to eight k that is a lot of gold thankfully i have so much gold in this game already because of all the quick really quick guides of you know making money or making gold in new world that i have put out to you guys I've done them myself. They worked tremendously, so hopefully they help you out as well. But now with all of this gold that I have, I am, like I said, about to spend 36 to 38K, I believe, or about around 30K at the very least on crafting some crazy late game pants. So we'll see how this goes. We'll obviously be testing out the attributes as the big RNG detail um, because all we get to pick is one perk, right? And everything else is random. So remember that. So we're picking Refreshing Pillar of Fire. The second perk is going to be a random. The third perk is going to be a gem slot. Um, and then, you know, obviously, if, I don't believe you can get legendary, but maybe you can. We'll see here in a second if I do get a legendary. But like I said, guys, the Runic Leather, the uh, Phoenix Weave, and then I believe I give him one Azoth here, and then, or sorry, one Vial of Azoth here. And then I also give him the Craft Mod Refreshing Pillar of Fire. So uh, I do owe him 600 gold per because he is providing the Asmodium. But like I said, the biggest thing we're shooting for here is Intelligence, Dexterity, or Constitution. We do not want strength. We do not want focus as an attribute. Those are both going to make this gear really very, very useless. Um, and that all comes down to, like I said, that pretty much comes down to RNG. We're going to be switching over to his point of view now. So he actually streamed this for me so I could get his point of view. And I'm tossing him over the materials right now, tossing him over the gold. And he's going to go and craft this and see what we get. So I'll talk you guys through the first one. And then after that, I'm going to let some music play and let you guys see the rest of these insane crafts. That uh, is the very, very latest of the latest in-game really armor you can get. I was going to say cosmetics, but that's definitely not the right wording. 584 to 600 looks like it's the gear score it's possible. We'll see what he gets on the very, very first one. Obviously, like I said, dexterity is not too bad because, and we do get 24 decks, by the way, 594 gear score, refreshing, divine embrace is our second perk. Unfortunately, a fairly useless perk when it comes down to the fire staff, but refreshing pillar of fire, obviously going to be the big one anyway. 595, or sorry, 594 gear score, very, very solid, very, very solid drop with 24 decks, by the way, 24 decks is going to get us almost halfway to that 50 decks that we're looking for. Um, as a fire staff user, a burst user, that's exactly where we want to be because 50 decks, we get that 5% critical chance rate that pretty much every Intel user is going to want anyway. So you get about 300 Intel, you go over to 50 decks, and that's about what you're shooting for. And that's why that was such a big role. That was such a big role to get, like I said, that 24 decks on the random. So we're going to do a few more. I think we do two more pants and one gloves. And I'm going to, like I said, walk you guys through in each and every one here. Um, I said something about letting music play. Not sure I can do it because I'm so excited about these drops. 595 being the next one. Refreshing Divine Embrace yet again. Unfortunately, a bad second perk. But 595 gear score is a very, very solid gear score when it comes down to pants. So let's take a look here as he trades them over to me. It's actually going to be 14 dexterity, I believe, 9 constitution. So a very, very solid 595 gear score here. I think I could easily sell one of these pants now, whichever one I don't want to take. I'll probably end up taking the full dexterity one just because, um, you know, it is, I guess, you know, I, I might take the full dexterity con one just because that one is a, just one higher gear score, which, you know, it does add up in the late game, right? And it'll actually last the longest most likely, but I do want to make sure I have enough dexterity and obviously 300 Intel, 50 dexterity, and then the rest con 
at that point to just make sure I do the most damage I possibly can in those large, you know, medium scale wars. So right now he's just waiting for me. I'm going over grabbing some more resources from the trading post. Like I said, I spent quite a bit of money doing exactly what you're seeing here and just basically RNG. It's all about trying to get lucky and trying to get the best of the best gear. I really should have stopped here, by the way, most likely. Um, but, you know, gambling is real in New World when it comes to crafting, that's for sure, because I was definitely hoping for a second perk, maybe like Fireball Impact to deal more damage. You know, it's just something kind of crazy hoping for. But uh, like I said, this was a great, great time just having this kind of money to just throw in on the game here. Um, and that's the coolest thing, like I said, about crafting a new world. It's definitely relevant late game. If you're a very, very big master crafter, you're going to be happy with all the resources you're going to be able to throw in and continue to craft some of the best stuff in the game. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. Better than, you know, a lot of the different things I've gotten in the game so far. I've not gotten to 595. I think my gear score watermarks right around 591. Here I go again, trading the stuff on over to him. And uh, we're going to see what he gets this time. This time he's going to go pants yet again. Uh, I believe, I believe we're going pants again and then we do uh, gloves after these pants so let's see what happens here obviously going for the shadow walkers and we're going to hopefully get these leggings to be you know ideally intelligence right you do want intelligence before you go starting into the dexterity side of things but dex isn't too bad either as long as pretty much we don't get focus or strength i'm really hoping for a 600 gear score craft right now and that's why i keep giving him more money and more materials i'm just hoping so hard for a 600 gear score drop a second perk like like i said Im impact fireball damage it would just be insane so here we go crafting yet another piece and this time around guys it is the worst one yet by far this is going to be strength focus i'm still going to put this one on the market just because why not um hoping that somebody just wants the perk they don't really care about the attributes yet um, it's still not a bad piece of gear just because of, like I said, the perk and the high gear score giving you guys some pretty great, um, when it comes to resistances and things, some pretty great armor. Just like I said, a very, very rough piece of gear though when it comes to the attributes. So that was the last piece of pants I do. I do one more glove. So I go to buy this glove, the materials for the glove. This time I was thinking, you know, why not switch it up to a glove? Because we tried all the pants. I've got some decent pants. I'm going to still try though the refreshing pillar of fire just for the heck of it to see if I can get that 600 gear score refreshing pillar of fire. That's pretty much a dream for me right now as pillar of fire is something I'm going to be using for quite some time unless they ever nerf it. And even if they nerf it, I mean, they would have to buff meteor shower for me to ever switch fully over to meteor shower. So I think this is going to be a piece of gear that is just going to be valuable for quite some time. So I thought this was a very interesting video, by the way. If you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, not just PvP all the time, not just, uh, you know, quickest gold all the time, but also crafting, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on because we are going to continue to put our money into some of these greatest crafters in the game that are going to give us this RNG that pushes pushes us, you know, to the top of the game. 585 to 600, like I said, that's the top of the top. So I just want to show you guys what this comes down to when it comes down to the shade walker hand wraps he's basically right now looking at it by the way telling me exactly what i need to bring him for these these hand wraps um because we haven't done like i said gloves quite yet we've been doing pants this entire time here we are for the very very last craft of the day we have way less materials to actually pass which is another reason i decided to do one more because i didn't want to be too too low on on gold you know i I spent a lot on this already. I have some pretty good gear. And this is where I'm tipping him, by the way, as well, because he's obviously doesn't have to be doing this for me. So I gave him a couple extra Azoth bottles there, and I believe I give him, um, I'm not sure how much extra gold, but I do give him some extra gold as well. So you can see, I think I put in the gold number here, how much I owe him from, like I said, those Asmodiums, and um, like I said, the tip as well. So I think he's telling me exactly how much uh, how much I pretty much owe him. And then I'm adding a tip onto that. So by oh, about three K, it looks like, uh, I think I owed him like 2,500 added an extra 500 gold and then like 10 as off bottles. So it adds up a little bit. Hopefully it'll be nice enough for him. But you know, jumping into this final one is going to be the craziest of the crazy because it's a different piece of gear than we've you know done in the past three. And all it takes is getting lucky once, right? That's all we need to get lucky just one time. Here we go. And unfortunately, it's probably not too bad because, like I said, 14 dex, 9 intelligence, but the gear score is pretty low. So I'm not going to be using that. I'm still going to be using the pants. But overall, a very, very fun time. God X, thank you so much for helping me out. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.